ever drew as a kid? Yeah, like just a little bit, but not. I never took a, like an art class in high school. Art was like for the sissies, you know. And it was you know you didn't take art, you know. That wasn't like allowed in my crowd. You know, well, just you like, weren't allowed to carry books either. So no, we weren't allowed to carry books. It was like three or four out of about forty that were allowed to carry books because they were like the, you know, me. I was in the the shop. I was running a lathe for six periods a day. <laughs> they, they, they let us out, they let us upstairs for lunch, you know? And that was it, lunch. And you had to take English and social studies. And that was it. It's the only time we were in the GP, the general pop, the rest of the time we were in the basement, you know? So we weren't like book people, you know? And as much as I got into music, and I love music. I mean, I sang in high school. I mean, we had like a serious recording group. I mean, we recorded on Decca Records. We were in Billboard magazine. And, but if you played in the band, we used to call it, it was a band. You know, like if you, had a, if you played an instrument, you were a band. You played football, so the band had a reason to play. And I see it was okay to have a doo-wop group because you were still like, Take it back. Do, do, you know, that was cool to be do, a doo -wop. Do you have any of your old music recorded? Richard uh, Emelo does. He has uh, the one we recorded on Decca Records. You know, I mean, we did 13 television shows and stuff. We weren't like a minor group. You no, know. What was the name of the group? The Four Directions. I used to call it the Four Directions because that was what we did basically. We just sing and, you know, the girls would be like, and you know, it was just a ticket to. That's awesome. To no. It was a ticket to pussy. That's what you did. That's why you. And we were really good. So I mean, we opened for the Drifters. You know, I mean, we were up there. And what know. happened with it? Well, we needed like this last push, you know, to really like get up there, you know. And my family, meaning the Gambino family. They, they had a guy, Larry Martiri, who uh, is still around, who ran Roulette Records, which at the time, Roulette was like the hottest label around. So I went to my uncle and I said, look, you know, we need this little bit of push. You know, if you could get us transferred from Decca onto Roulette and we record, we record something on Roulette, that'll give us a lot more exposure it'll give us a lot more push with the djs when they see roulette you know and he said no can't do it i said what are you talking about you can't do it i said one phone call you could do it and he said no no he said i don't want you in that business no more he says that business is all drunks and drug users and womenizers i don't want you in that business so okay great it's okay to blow somebody up in a car but it's not all right to sing <laughs> you know i mean so that was basically the end of the, my music. It got to a point where I was so depressed over that, I joined the army, you know, because I just had to get away from everything, you know? And I said, well, fuck, there's a war going on. Might as well see what that's about, you know? And that was the end of the music career. You know? But I mean, we were together like four years. Did you tour? Oh yeah, we were all over the country. You know, I mean, that's what we did. That's why I never went to school. My father used to my, my father used to wake me up in the morning and he'd go, "Hey, Frank Sinatra, time to get up." You know, because we were always in the city. You know, we always had something to do in the city because we did a lot of backup work <coughs> for Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. We did all their vocals on all their albums, the Sakatumi album, all that shit was us in the background because the Detroit Wheels could play but they couldn't sing. So. State Phillips Productions used to hire us to do the work, and it paid $79 an hour. What am I going to do? Not make $79 an hour and go and listen to some old bitch tell me about Mesopotamia? What the fuck? Who the fuck wants to know? <laughs> you know, I'm not interested in that. You know. No, it's interesting. I mean, who are the other band members? Tony Presto, Joe Riccobeni, and uh, Chuck Rothenberg. You know, 
And there was actually our accompanist, Ronnie Keane. He was a guitar player. He used to handle all our music. He had, like, before we did a show, he'd go to the, to the bands that were going to back us. And he would just tell them this, 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 you know, lay out all the music, and then he'd play with us. Would you, know? you play? No, we didn't play. We, no, what, we what, would what, do what, it. You sang. I sang. You were a singer. Yeah. Oh, shit. Mm, he's Maybe. heard me sing. Yeah, but see, I've seen you play this, the, the uh, saxophone. Yeah, I picked that up after the army. Okay. That's when it was okay, because I wasn't a band. <laughs> yeah. So you're a doo -wop, so okay. how, when did you start singing doo -wop? 14. Wow. Yeah. yeah, we put the four directions together when I was 15. And yeah, it ran three years till I was 18. Not four, three. But we did a lot of work in three years. And, you know, we used to do all the whole Long Island circuit the Lido Beach Club and all those places out there. We did that whole circuit on weekends. We go up and do the Jewish Alps. You know, it was like... The Jewish Alps? The Catskills. Catskills. You never heard of the Jewish Alps? No, what's that? The Catskill Mountains. Well, the resort's up there. It's all the Jewish little... Alps. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That's what it's called. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> You're cracking this guy up today. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like a circle. Um, <laughs> no, it's funny. No, it's just okay. great. I'm surprised you never heard of that. That's from when I was a kid. I never heard of Jewish Alps. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So we have one album out there? Mm -hmm. You don't have a copy of it? No, I could get one. I could get the whole tape. I can get the tape because MLO can make the tape for me. How'd you I have the record. Oh, you do? It's just encased. Yeah. Tell them about yeah, Tower yeah. of Power. Ah. Uh, What's I don't want to talk about that point right What's that? now. Yeah. I want to get off the music thing. Really? Yeah. Why? Because yeah, it does. It's, yeah. it's pretty close to your heart. I it's mean, very close to my heart. Still is. He's still fancy.